What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, especially husbands, we all know the biggest fear. Our wives laying down and submitting herself to another man outside of extenuating circumstances i.e. swingers. That's another topic for another time. But the everyday average man goes to work, works hard for his family, finds out his wife has decided she wants to submit herself to another man. There are men out there, that mere accusation alone is enough to drive them over the edge. However, the current society that we live in, a woman's infidelity is all but rewarded. However, let's circle back. There are men out there, like the man in this article, when they find out, yeah, the mask will go on. Now, this article was published on the 8th of March. Texas dad who told his wife she will quote unquote meet Jesus before shooting her to deletion on camera sentenced to 10 years. Wow. Gentlemen, go back to the old Death Wish movies with Charles Bronson. Yeah. I believe he told one of the bad guys, you're going to meet Jesus. I'm just going to arrange the meeting. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A Texas father was sentenced this week to 10 years in prison for fatally shooting his wife in the head on camera after learning about her alleged affair. Carrie Birmingham, 60, told his wife Patricia she was going to quote unquote meet Jesus right before he shot her three times outside of their spring Texas home in December 2021. The pair argued for roughly 30 minutes before he shot her after finding out she was allegedly having an affair, according to ABC 13. Quote, unquote, I hope it was worth it, he said in the video obtained by ABC 13. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Very chilling words. But... Those are the words of a man who said enough was enough. He knew exactly what he was going to do. He took matters into his own hands. Birmingham's lawyer, Anthony Oso, said his client pleaded guilty directly to a rare all-woman jury. Oh, gentlemen. They made sure to stack the deck against this guy. An all-woman jury? Yeah. Bias complete. If there would have been a man on that jury, especially a married man, he would have felt a little bit of sympathy or empathy for this guy because all married men know or should know it's not if, but when your wife decides to cheat 
And we live in a system in which a wife's infidelity is literally rewarded. Yeah, more on that later. Also was trying to convince the panel that the husband had shot his wife in the heat of the moment, i.e. a crime of passion. Quote, unquote, we never tried to justify the actions of our client, but the defense wasn't about justification. It was about why he did what he did, also told the local outlet. However, their daughter, Olivia, isn't buying the defense and is skeptical that her father's crime was the result of, quote unquote, sudden passion. Now this right here, gentlemen, they're gonna make sure that the daughter throws her own father under the bus. Something that a lot of fathers experience. However, if this daughter is underage, why are they talking to her in the first place? Quote, unquote, you have to have something. You have to have made that decision within you for a while. I feel like to do something, to do that to someone you really love, she told ABC 13. Totally glossing over the fact that her mother was being unfaithful. But we all know that's part of the standard operating procedures. No matter what was said in this trial, you know what type of woman she was and you know what you did and how he took away my favorite person in this world. Once again, further driving the daughter away from her father. Olivia, who was at school when her mother was shot, says she lost her dad the same day her mom died. Quote, unquote, I lost both of my parents that day. My dad died that day, too, because the person who did that to my mom and my father aren't the same person she said. Gentlemen, talk about your own flesh and blood literally plunging a blade in your back and twisting it. Olivia also accused her father of emotional and financially abusing her and said she will never forgive her, him, excuse me, for what he did. Well, Mr. Birmingham, this is what you need to do. You need to publicly disown your daughter. Birmingham will be eligible for parole in five years. Well, well, well. Gentlemen, I must say, there are, I'm just going to be rough with the numbers. When it comes to men in relationships who find out that their girlfriend, or in this case, their wife is cheating on them. Unfortunately, there are 60% of men who will stay for whatever reason. There's about 35% of men who no matter what, they're bagging ass. They're packing their shit. They're leaving, which leaves the 5% of men, albeit that number is definitely increasing, but 5% of men who say, oh, no, 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 no. You've betrayed me in the worst way possible. I'm taking matters into my own damn hands. And yeah, ladies, that 5% of men who decide to take matters into their own hands will do so with lethal damn results. Anyway, Let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in front of their home. Got to give it a 10. Method of execution. Obviously, 
the problem solving pistol. Psychological impact. There's actually a video of this. Yeah, it is actually on the web and it was actually shown to the jury. So I'm gonna have to up this to a 50. And for the brutality factor, three times to the dome, yeah, I'm going to give him a 15 on this one. So Carrie, bang, bang, Birmingham gets a score of 80. Now, let's circle back to a wife's infidelity and how it's rewarded. Yeah, no fault divorce. Mm -hmm. I've made plenty of videos on what no-fault divorce truly means for the modern husband and how marriage is truly a hostage situation for modern husbands. Yeah, yeah. Once again, I find it extremely ironic. We want to say no-fault divorce because it should be easy for women to divorce their husbands, but yet at the same time, the husband has to pay. No, 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 no. Especially when it's been found out that the wife has been unfaithful. Oh, no, 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 no. She should walk away with nothing. But oh, no, 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 no. See, gentlemen, men of today, husbands of today have to still pay for the supposed sins of husbands in the past. I find it extremely ironic. Men of today are still being punished for the supposed sins of men in the past. You want the biggest example of that? Hell, look at the modern American black community. Yeah, American black women love to talk about things from the past that they never went through they said, oh, our grandmothers went through this and, and men were doing this. Okay, what the fuck does that have to do with men today? Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting. The ultimate play of modern women is victimhood. Yeah. However, gentlemen, however, there's always going to be more men who say, no, I'm not going to take it. Far too many women out here, far too many wives have been allowed to just do whatever they want, run roughshod over their husband, and the husband is still subject to the gun of the state. Trust and believe, if divorce was actually fair, you would have a lot more men filing for divorce. But this is another reason why so many men have outright abandoned marriage, especially in America. They know marriage is not worth it. You're literally giving that woman access to everything and she can decide to leave on a whim and you're going to be made to pay. Yeah, right. No, no. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And for you wives out here who think that you're going to be sneaking around on your husband and he's never going to find out, ladies, you don't understand. We men are way more in tune with you than you think. We notice subtle differences. We notice changes in behavior. But a lot of us were so busy working we don't have time to actually confront you on sad changes. But you better understand something, ladies, and you better understand this crystally damn clear. The power you think you have in your deception, that will go out. Feminism and the idea that we men don't actually understand and see what you're doing, that's going to go out right along with it. Let me reiterate, the vast majority of men who find out their wives are cheating stay 
for whatever reason, more men are saying, you know what? I'm out. I'm not going to forgive you or I am going to forgive you. That way I can move on with my life. But there's always going to be the number of men who decide, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You betrayed me in the worst way possible. So guess what? I'm taking matters into my own hands. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.